Since piece three, which was now several years ago, since 2000, there was an element of the funding that we contributed towards what we call shared spaces. And that was so successful in piece three that when we went to public consultation to see what was going to be in piece four, that was one of the items that they said they wanted, the public wanted to see again because they saw the success. And one of the ultimate successes is obviously the Peace Bridge here in Derry, Londonderry, which has really regenerated the city. My name is Jared Dean, I work for Hollywell Trust. We're an organisation that's based in Derry, but we're delighted to be working with groups in the Stravan, Donegal area on the Stravan Shared Space Project. So how does it work? It's dead simple. You hear the human story first, you then have the opportunity to interact with the person and then you can ask questions. Well it's just a fantastic opportunity to partnership and network with our neighbours so to speak, the cross-border, cross-community organisations um, and we really haven't had an opportunity for a long time to be involved in a partnership. Stravan Shared Space Project is working with 18 different organisations from throughout the Donegal and Stravan area, the wider Stravan area, and we're doing a project that has four main elements. We're working on a partnership programme, we're doing a cemetery project, we're working on a music project, and we're also doing a women's peace building programme. And alongside that, we're working with the groups to build their relationships um, alongside the four core programme elements as well. We want to get the real community of the, the Protestants and the Irish people involved with the Taban people and get that shared space with everybody together. Today is a very special day for us because we've actually completed phase one of the wall garden which sees a significant investment in the regeneration of this otherwise underutilised space to being a community asset. So I'm working on the walled garden project here in St Collins Park House, right in the heart of Derry City. And um, the, the, it's a shared space project, which means we're trying to bring different people together. Um, and I suppose what we've noticed since uh, the word of the walled garden has got out, that um, there's a range of different people and different groups are just mad to get involved in the space. So we're planning the space um, to be as accessible as possible and to be as inviting uh, for as many groups as possible. The Waterside Village project operates um, between Irish Street and Top of the Hill in the Waterside um, based um, on the interface and it's all about bringing the two communities together, reducing tension and uh, increasing the movement of people between the two estates. And this is done um, through a series of different programmes, events and larger festivals uh, scattered throughout the year. Part of the Waterside Shared Village programme, we've had um, a four-week summer scheme which is just coming to uh, close now uh, in the last few days. In the next few days, it's been a four-week project that has brought uh, about 260 children from both um, Irish Street and the top of the hill areas together uh, very much you know to increase the footfall um, uh, and the movement of children between the areas um, you know so the so it breaks down the perceptions of of, of the other side so to speak. The top of the hill is a, a nationalist Catholic Republican area within the water side um, it is a, an area of high deprivation my name is Sean Monaco. I've been working on the community engagement around Bonfires project for the last three years. The focus of the programme was to create an engagement strategy around bonfires that were contentious in communities and on a cross-community basis. This was supported by Council adopting a new policy on bonfires that recognised bonfires as cultural expressions but expected them to be safely managed, non-toxic and not burn any offensive materials. And there's some who saw it as a cultural war against their celebrations. But the project was nothing like that at all. When we began to build trust with people, uh, we then began to see the transformation of the bonfires from being uh, what was described as hit face into more safer community-based projects. And in some instances, we actually saw total alternative to bonfires uh, be embraced in different communities. Hi, I'm Jonathan Henderson. I'm the project officer on the Castle Derrick Shared Spaces project. Uh, the project is all about bringing people together uh, through the medium of green space. Um, over the last number of years, we've been working very closely with various groups in the Castle Derrick and surrounding areas. Uh, so the examples of the programmes that we've been implementing in the Castle Derrick and surrounding areas um, includes a community growing project, 
uh, which looked at communities coming together from different backgrounds um, through the medium of uh, horticulture. Uh, that was a very successful project and again that was informed uh, very much by uh, Church and Community Association. Uh, we had a significant number of participants uh, and the feedback we've received to date has been very positive. Other examples of events that we've implemented include a cross-community sports project uh, where people came together to play Gaelic, soccer, rugby uh, and, and participate in other activities uh, with a particular emphasis on the Derg, uh, very much as a shared space. Um, and try and reorientate people back to the Derg um, because obviously it's a key component of Castle Derg and community life. Margaret McLaughlin, um, I work in Dennett Interchange in Donamana, who is the lead partner in the Newton Stewart Shared Spaces project. The project is working between five communities, Douglas Bridge, Victoria Bridge, Ardstraw, Newton Stewart and Plumbridge. And each of the communities have identified a common theme between them and that was the bridges connecting the, each of the communities. Um, and as part of the consultation then they identified that history was a common element as well within the communities because there was lots of old stories that weren't being told to the younger people. So it was intergenerational, it was older people entertaining young people, it was bringing everybody together within each of the communities but also allowing them to share their stories between the five communities. And one of the people from one of the villages was actually, had never been in the other village before. She was a lady who didn't drive, so didn't have an opportunity to go and visit this other village because there's very poor transport connections there. So there there's no bus or buses in this area. Um, so she r really was saying, this is my first time here, isn't this great? My name is Lindsay Simpson and I work for Derry City and Strand District Council. Uh, the project that I work on is the Natural Connections Peace Tourism Project. In a nutshell, the project has had various different elements to it. We've been able to animate the walls um, over the past two years with historical characters, Highland dancers, Irish dancers, and um, also a drum circle. There's also been other elements such as helping our different community-led tourism providers build their capacity through helping them with marketing, digital marketing, and um, also study visits um, to various different areas um, throughout Northern Ireland to look at different best practice within community tourism. My name is Donna McCluskey. Um, I work for an organisation called the Bogside of Randwell Initiative. We were lucky enough to want to tender from the Peace 4 Dairy City and Savannah District Council for shared spaces to work with residents from the Fountain and Bishop Street area. Through the work we've done over the last number of years, we felt it was important that we would integrate uh, people from other cultures into this project. So the project has been very much focused on working with groups from a BME background, the PUL community and the CNR community. Over the last year and a half what we have done is we have engaged over 250 people in things like family bus trips uh, and good relations projects like visiting Free Dairy Museum, visiting the Siege Museum. One of the proudest things we have done is, is normalised the relationships between these communities, uh, so much so that people now move freely between the Fountain, Bishop Street and BME communities are comfortable moving in these areas and have done numerous other programmes and projects with us. My name is Becca Bohr and I work on the Common Ground project in Tully Alley and Curry Niren. I'm based out in St. Holmes Park House, but the majority of my time is spent in Tully Alley and Curry Niren. The idea is to work with the two community associations or the community partnerships in Tully Alley and Curry Niren and to work with them to find opportunities to bring the two communities together. We do a lot of youth work as well um, with the two communities as well as really advocating for those two communities and trying to bring more resource and more funding into those areas as they're two areas that have been sort of neglected for some time and so that's sort of the key part of the project is to try to create something that can be sustainable.